Hi, Jean Gallagher here. Let's talk about getting more from your open houses, even from those people who are just looky-loos. Realtors put out sign-in sheets to collect visitor contact information. Never mind that most of the information that they collect turns out to be incorrect. I can show you a way to not only gather correct information, but also get valuable feedback from each visitor, whether or not they're potential buyers. If you're like most realtors, your Saturdays and Sundays are filled up doing open houses. The question is, how do you make those open houses work for you? Well, first you gather frank and honest feedback from each person who walks through the door. Why bother getting feedback? What's the point? Especially if the visitor isn't really a potential buyer. Well, getting feedback allows you to identify any snags that may be hindering the sales process. It also helps you gather ideas that you may not have thought of. You can use these to boost the appeal of the home. You can also capture more qualified buyer leads. In other words, the more you know, the more feedback that you get, the more effective you'll be, and the more you can make your listing shine. So if feedback is so important, why is it that so many realtors drop the ball in this area? Some days you leave your open house feeling that not even one real buyer showed up and that your entire day was a waste. How do you put a system in place so that this is no longer a problem? Here is the answer. A highly effective open house feedback form that visitors want to fill out. Here are the seven critical elements that your feedback form must contain. Number one, give all complete feedback entries and only entries that really are completely filled out a chance to win a prize. The more appealing the prize, the more people will pay attention. For example, you could offer a $100 gift certificate toward a restaurant, Home Depot, Ikea, whatever. You can give away one prize per listing or combine your feedback from all your listings if you have several and give away a prize once a month. It's entirely up to you. $100 sometimes seems like a lot, but if you think of $100 a month and getting numerous qualified buyers out of it, it starts looking pretty interesting. And this really works. People will stop and, and talk to you. Everybody loves a chance to win something. The second element is ask for their complete contact information. Since you're offering them a chance to win a cool prize, you can justify asking for the whole enchilada. This includes their full name, their address, phone number, and email address. Number three, ask them to rank key components of the property, but make it easy for them. Use a scale of 1 to 5 and ask each guest to rank the condition of the property, the value for the price, what they think of the landscaping, if that's applicable, and how about the location. Element number 4. Ask what they like the most. Knowing their hot buttons will help you emphasize key features in your promotional materials. This is very important. You'll find it makes your marketing materials more effective and you will boost the number of responses you get from your marketing efforts. Element number five, ask what they like the least. Most realtors avoid negative feedback, but that's a mistake. The earlier you're able to find out what people don't like, the higher your chances of addressing their concerns and ultimately close a sale either as the buyer or the seller agent. Element number six, ask if they have a buyer's agent. I know this is already a standard question, but even if they have an agent, you don't know when they will decide to change. Ask them, add them to your database for now and for the future. And they may not have an agent. Even if they aren't quite ready to commit, you can begin an email campaign so when they are ready, you're first in their mind to represent them. This is one of the easiest, most effective ways to get more motivated buyer clients. Just ask the question at your open houses. Remember, you're not just working for today, you're also working for your future. So if they're not potential clients now, they may well be later, especially if you keep in touch with them. Ask them if they're pre-approved. If they are not pre-approved, this is a red flag. Not having their mortgage ducks in a row is the biggest red flag of all. We can act as an extension of your business getting your buyers pre-approved so they are ready to move forward when they find the perfect home. There you have it. 
I've just given you seven critical elements for creating a highly effective open house feedback form. You can create your own or use the one I've provided for you in the swipe file. Check it out below and if you want it in a different format so that you can add your own logo and information, give me a call. I'll be glad to send it to you. Thanks so much for listening. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye for now.